All right, so this is a normal WordPress page with a normal header. And when I'm scrolling, there is nothing changed. It stays exactly on the same position. But now if I refresh the page, you'll see something different. Now the header will stick at the top of the website. And no matter where I go, I will see this header. So today I'm going to show you on how you can apply a sticky header effect to your WordPress website in the Gutenberg editor. Now, in theory, this effect is pretty easy to achieve but there is something that a lot of people miss and that's why when they're trying to apply a sticky header or pretty much any sticky element in the Gutenberg editor that element won't stick at all so let me show you on how to do it properly and as always i really like wordpress vanilla we are not going to be using any third-party plugin we are not going to touch any code in the website we are just using whatever available by default in the Gutenberg editor so let's get into it all right so the first thing that you need to do is that you have to log into your WordPress dashboard and after that you can navigate to appearance and click editor but before I get into that I want to switch to a different WordPress theme just to show you that this method can be applied to pretty much any WordPress block theme so I'm going to select a WordPress theme that I have never tried before and we're going to edit the page using the Gutenberg editor so right now we have plenty of really cool WordPress themes and I actually have no idea which one that I have to use so let's see the one that is not too complicated but also not too simple so let's try maybe this design i think it's good enough let's use this team called brahma which i never tried before and i'm going to show you on how to apply a sticky header effect on the website now again i want to emphasize that i'm not using any third-party plugin or any team extension because in some wordpress block themes they do come with a sort of extra features that is not necessarily a plugin but it's kind of extend the functionalities and features of the team i'm not going to use any of that because we are going to just relying on a feature available in the wordpress core so after that you want to go to the editor and we are going to make this header to be sticky and after that you can go to templates and later you can choose which page that you want to modify i'm going to select this page which is the blog home it appears to be the main page of this website so we have a normal header here if i scroll it doesn't stick it stays exactly on the same position so what you need to do now is you have to open the document overview and then here you will see the structure of the web page now now, uh, this header is the one that we want to modify to make it sticky now what you need to do is you have to group this element essentially any element that you want to make it to be sticky you have to group it first you can group any element by right clicking on that and click group so now the header becoming part of this group but you might have noticed that the header appears to be smaller than before that's because the layouts actually uses the inner blocks content width so we want to disable this option and sometimes depending on the theme that you're using you might need to set the width of the container in this case i don't have to do that but in some themes it might require you to do so but anyway once you got the header to be grouped i highly recommend to rename this element you can right click on it and then click rename and i'm going to call this one sticky header and click save so we know that this header this group block is used to make the header to be sticky now you want to click on this group block and open settings and after that on the settings section you want to open position and change the setting from default to sticky now you can actually start scrolling the page and see the result and there you go well in this case there is something that we definitely need to change because the header appears to be transparent so we want to change the header color a bit this is not going to happen to every team but there are some themes that would require some modifications so keep in mind that every wordpress website could be slightly different i'm going to add a background color to this group block i want to make sure that it's not transparent and let's try to scroll down and there you go now the header is fully visible and it is sticky click save and save again now i'm going to preview the website and we should be able to see that the header is now sticky it's always there no matter where you scroll on the page by the way don't forget to clear the catch after you apply the sticky header effect on your wordpress website 
Previously, I mentioned that I really like WordPress panel. I like the simplicity of building a WordPress website, but you could be overwhelmed by a lot of plugins that might be installed on your WordPress website, and that would be detrimental for the website performance. So I have made a video about tips and tricks on how you can reduce the number of plugins in your WordPress website without destroying the functionalities of the site itself. If you are interested to make your WordPress website a lot faster, then I highly recommend checking out that video. Subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks, and I'll see you on my next video.